Hello everyone, Ponzi here. Today we're going to be finishing off the modular caves. For this one, I want it to have some overgrown grass or pebbles in the middle of the T shape. So, get your Mod Podge and apply a, a good quantity. You don't want to go crazy though. If you put too much on, you might not get the effect that you see in the video here. The green flock now, after the little pebble flock. And if you want to change it up a bit, then put a bit of other coloured flocks. Here I'm putting a bit of a lighter green just to break it up a bit so it's not all the same colour. And make sure you don't waste your flock, put it back in a bag. flexing it and you'll be left with something that looks a bit like this on to the next one is one of the corner pieces and just want it to add some little grass tufts to this one nothing too special just break it up a bit you can actually see the piece from the first video uh, drying on the left hand side. So just apply as many little grass tufts as you want. I do a few colours, mainly ones that are dead or dying. Uh, once you're happy with the sort of layout and uh, you'll be left with something like this. On to the main one, which is the quartz crystals. This one you can get quartz crystals, link in the description. Um, I use super glue here and baking soda to make the bond super quick. The baking soda will act as a catalyst for the super glue and make it harden nearly instantly. It also helps blend the quartz into the um, terrain piece. So just put quite a bit on. I didn't wait long enough there and one of the pieces fell out but quickly just push it back in and it will sort itself out. And work around it with a old wooden stick not like me and using one of your sculpting tools because you'll get a little nodule of super glue and baking soda that will probably never come off not without proper tools uh, apply applying another layer of super glue here and more baking soda you can repeat this process as many times as you want until you're happy so here I'm working on the second set of the crystals. One piece was being quite stubborn, but just give it a few minutes and it will start drying. So you just keep doing this until you get a sort of natural looking crystal set up. Working on the third set here, I wanted to have just a few small ones and then one that's on the floor I, that may be broken off. Apply some more bicarbonate soda. And for the last one I actually 
pierce the foam a little bit just so it can get a proper good grip in because it didn't really have a flat side to it. This one I want it to be in the middle and accidentally knocked the piece over here but super glue is pretty easy, it's the best glue for this sort of thing. Once you've done all that clean up your mess and we'll get on to painting. Uh, I'm using an airbrush for this video. You can use a spray can, you can use a paintbrush, just airbrush is probably what I'm most used to. You just use whatever you feel like. So I'm using a fluorescent green and a the thinner to give these crystals a green glow effect. And this is why you put your cap on when you're airbrushing on the top of the paint because you'll do something like that. Fortunately, it was watered down or thinned down enough that it soaked up really quickly into the kitchen towel and didn't negatively affect it. And once you've done that, you're going to be left with something like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.